Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again. This video, we're talking about Free Roam for Justice, Season 3, which premieres its first episode next Monday, July 2nd. So check that out when it releases, stay tuned. I released a trailer last week, and it made me want to do this video. I've been thinking about doing this video in the lead-up to it anyway, but it definitely gave me a, a reason to, with all the questions people have and comments of what the hell is Free Roam for Justice, Season 3. Well, it's the third season... Of freedom for justice. No, but seriously, look, I understand the question because it's the, probably the weirdest thing in the world, free run for justice. So this video, I just kind of want to give an overview of what it is, its history, why I'm making it, where it came from, and kind of recap people who haven't seen the other three seasons. Yeah, this is season three, but there's three other seasons of it. This is actually the fourth season, technically speaking. Um, but that, again, we'll get into this. I'm going to explain all of this now. And if you still don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it. That's cool, but you're missing out. Free Run for Justice is essentially, in its smallest form, a basic free roam gameplay series of a video game that I'm playing, but I'm playing Batman, who time traveled to that place. It's a real thing. There's DC Comics where Batman time travels, so I'm just saying, I'm just... You know, not uh, it's, I'm just sticking to comics, bro. <laughs> the more I talk, every time I talk about Freedom of Justice, I'm like, it sounds so ridiculous and stupid. But that's what it is. I don't take it too so seriously. And I get there's comments that are like, cringy, cringy as fuck. What the fuck? This is cr pure cringe. And I mean, I don't think most people even know what cringe is. Most of the time when I see people say cringe on YouTube comments... But in this case, I was like, I mean, if you don't know what it is, yeah, that's probably fair enough. If you, Especially if you think I'm being serious. Like, oh, this dude's, like, legitimately playing Batman in a video. What the fuck? This is so weird. What is, that's like, what is that voice? I'm like, I get it. I get it. Look, let me explain. It came about from Assassin's Creed Unity. with season one of Free Run for Justice. I was do, trying to just do a free roam gameplay series of Assassin's Creed Unity. And I remember I was wearing the black cloak and I was hanging from a, a rooftop or something and I just felt this like Batman moment come on and I did this crappy like bat college humor Batman impression and I was like that's funny and then I did like a murder mystery mission and thought like imagine if I was like playing Batman and that recording failed so I didn't use it and I was like supposed to be the first episode of like my free ram series I was going to do in Unity and then I came up with this idea of like oh what if whenever I do like I'm Arno I'm just you know playing as Arno in season one like, I'm just free roaming in, you know, the white assassin outfit. But if I do murder mysteries, I wear a black cloak and I'll do a Batman voice. So that's like whenever I'm like doing the murder mysteries and doing, you know, detective work like Batman would do, I'm playing Batman. So there'll be like the Dark Knight of Paris. So that's how it started. And you watch season one and it's literally just, sure, I'm there, but I'm kind of creating also this like Batman character that's free roaming around, serving justice to the people. Justice. Oh, Why are you guys always getting in the way of my justice? <laughs> and doing that, and I just did a stupid Batman voice throughout it. That's that's essentially what happened. And then I, I don't know why. I don't know if I'd planned this, but I called it season one when I made the playlist. I was like, Freedom for Justice, season one. And I didn't realize this was going to be like a second season necessarily, or that it would be like a storyline. So the second season rolls around, I remember on a podcast that I was doing with James, he asked me, he goes, so if you're doing season two of Free Run for Justice in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which it was, he asked, is it the same Batman? Or is it like you just playing a different Batman? I'm like, well, I hadn't really thought about it as like a character that's ongoing. I thought like I, outside of the game, like we know I'm playing a game, but outside of the game, I'm just doing Batman voice. Like, what if it was a character? That made me think about it. So I started season two, the Syndicate Free Roam. Again, supposed to just be me playing Free Roam side activities in Syndicate. The same with Unity. But I started off where I'm in Paris and I warp through this time warp and I time travel as Batman into the future. And that season two is when it became not just a Free Roam series, but it, the character in it is Batman who's time traveling. That's what it became. He will hear how evil whisper. See, they always check the whistle. 
And at that time, it was just the Batman of Paris that then time traveled to London in in the Industrial Revolution. And again, he was the character, and I free roamed around. I still kind of went between a Batman voice and my voice. And, you know, he's trying to serve justice, trying to make the world a better place, piece by piece. That was it. And it's supposed to be a funny, dumb, kind of weird, wonky gameplay series. And both seasons were, were really well received. People loved him and it, that it became a thing. And it was a funny joke. And, and I loved making it. It was a great time. Then I had this idea. Because I really wanted... Like I was a fan of the Batman Arkham games. And I hadn't played Arkham Knight yet. And I thought, what if I did a series where... where I do the origin story of how Batman then time travels. And it was a good time because in 2016, there was no Assassin's Creed game for me to do a season three in. So I thought, okay, well, this is a good time. Let's make season zero. And I was like, that's a dumb name, season zero. Season origin. I'm like, yeah, yeah I guess, but is it? So I said, so season's origin, so it's a zero, but instead of an O in origin. Um, yeah, stupid. I realized that. And that's when it became like a machinima which, if you don't know, it's like people using video games to make shows, like people used Halo, Red vs. you know, to make Red vs. Blue and those sorts of things. Um, so, got mixed with still a free roam series where I'm going around playing a video game side activities and making it into a storyline. And that's when it really became a, like a 50-50 machine where I had scripted moments. I literally had my friends do voice acting of characters, like James playing Commissioner Gordon and things like that. And... Ethan playing a Belek in Paris in Assassin's Creed Unity, like I did those things and I did the story of why Batman went from trying to stop the Riddler and all these villains in Gotham to then time traveling to stop the Joker and revolutionary Paris. Like it's the most ridiculous, obnoxious storyline ever. Fuck you, you stupid piece of shit. I've waited so long to be the shit out of you. He will feel the full extent of my justice serving. Then your time is now. <laughs> what have I got to be afraid of? Justice. That's right. It's so stupid and wonky, and it's just why it's fun. Like, this is just supposed to be fun. Dumb humor. That's what leads us now to season three, where, again, it's not just a free roam series anymore where there's a character of Batman I'm playing. There is a storyline to it, and it is a 50-50 free roam series machinima storyline, where this is the final season, and I'm wrapping up the storyline we've been on, where Batman had to, f the Joker took Batman's technology and time traveled into revolutionary Paris. Batman followed him, but his time machine got destroyed when he arrived, and then he is stuck there. He joined the assassins, forgot, lost all his memories, became a killer. And all he knew is he was the Dark Knight and was here to serve justice and help the right, the, you know, the, the good people of the world. And then he got warped through time again un, unknowingly, with no reasons in his mind of why that should happen. And then he found himself in London and he served justice there as well. And now he's gone through another war pole and he realizes, oh, here we go again. He realizes this is a thing. He's being warped through time. He doesn't know why. And now he's in Egypt in Assassin's Creed Origins. I use that game and I use its free room side activities. There's no story use in it. It's just the side activities. And I make a story with the side activities. And, uh, you know, I've got an extra character called The Keeper, who you heard his voice in the trailer. One of our community members, um, Jackson. Great guy. And he's done a great job. I can't wait for people to, to see his work. Um... And as well as, of course, Batman's in there, the main character, the stories about him, who I'm playing. And to give you the gist of what's to come next week, it's, he's, you know, now time travel once again and even further back. He's not heading in any sort of time direction. He just, he moved in Paris, then forward in time and now back in time even further. How's he, how's he going to get back to Gotham? Will he ever get back to Gotham? Why has he been going through all these time warps if his time machine got destroyed? Like, all of this is going to be explained in this season. Everything that this season's origin kind of set up of how he got to the time traveling system to then what's happened during it to now, everything will be wrapped up and explained in this season. That's what this season's about. Plus, plenty of dumb humor 
and me doing a stupid, ridiculous Batman voice free roaming through Assassin's Creed Origins. It's those two things mixed together. It's a free roam series meets a machinima in this weird, meta, fucked up storyline. I don't know how better to explain that, but it's a bit of fun. And if you're up for a bit of a laugh and a bit of fun, check it out July 2nd, next Monday, episode 1 of Free Room for Justice. It'll be out every Monday for 10 weeks for its 10-episode run. The final season, season 3, Free Run for Justice. Check it out, and if my pitch is convinced you, go back and watch Season's Origin. Just so you can kind of understand what this storyline is as a whole, and you can kind of assume what happens from the rest. Like... Because it, it, it went from not being a storyline to sort of an overarching character to then, oh, it's actually like a machine of a meets a free roam series, not just a free roam series, to, okay, let's wrap up the storyline that I've kind of made halfway through. It's just a ridiculous situation that ended up here, and it's become such a crazy thing. And the response from the trailer was awesome, and the views it got were way more than I expected. Um, but then there were people like, what the fuck is it? Well, that's the best way I can explain it. If you still don't want to see it, don't certainly don't have to watch it. But I've worked for the past seven, eight months on this, you know, for the process of, you know, coming up with playing through all the side activities once, picking the side activities I think would be good, constructing some sort of storyline, coming out with a storyline scenario. And then I realized this could be a way to explain everything and really wrap up the story and, and put everything together nicely. And that's my goal for this season. And I feel like I've done that. I haven't finished working on every episode. Every, all the rough cuts have been done, but the final edits haven't been done. I've, I've finished episode one, two, and three are totally done, finished, ready to release as of now. And then that's got me a head start. And then I just need to kind of do the last little bits of sound mixing for each of the episodes before I give them the green light to release them. Uh, and I'll just have to do that kind of week to week, uh, just for that, because I get to the point where I'm like, and there's so much work, and I kind of get busy doing other things, look, I've got enough of it done, let's just release it, I need to get it out, or else I'll just keep putting it off, um, so yeah, this is where we're at, look forward to the response of people watching episode one, I, I put a rough draft on Patreon, about a month ago, just to kind of give people, here's a rough cut of what it is, I made, you know, quite a few changes to it, but just to show people to get an idea of how people engage it, and people seem to really like it, so I'm so excited uh, for everyone to see episode one, what I've been working on. I've spent like 250, 300 hours on this season. By the time I've done it, probably about 300 hours I've spent working on season three. It is so much work for the little amount of views it's probably going to get, but that's fine because I do this for fun, and I love this show, and that it's become this. It's just a way to get my creative juices flowing, but I'm also excited to, to finish it in that way, uh, because it has been so much work and I don't want it to just be this random thing. I do every game that Assassin's Creed releases. I want it to be its own cool little story that I've constructed and, and it have a beginning and it have an end. Thank you for watching if you have watched this way, this far through this video. And I appreciate you sticking with me and having a listen of what Fair and for Justice is. And I hope you check it out Monday, July 2nd when episode one releases... It's been so much work and I've had so much support from the community and people putting their Twitter banners as, as the Freedom for Justice poster. It's been amazing. And James doing all the posters and artwork has been incredible. It's been awesome. So I, I can't wait for you all to see Free Run for Justice, season three, the final season, July 2nd, episode one premieres. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you Monday, July 2nd.